Tonight, a Texas family is heartbroken after their loved one was killed by a suspected drunk driver. Investigators say that driver is an undocumented migrant. Abigail Velez with the family's message. Grayson was a beautiful soul. The Davis family living room is filled with photos, mementos and memories. It's all they have left of their son, brother and friend Grayson. You don't ever think it's going to affect you personally. And then all of a sudden on a Sunday evening, you get a text at eight o'clock at night that your son was just hit by a drunk, an illegal drunk driver. Ashley Davis says she's been living a nightmare since October 13th. That's when her son Grayson was involved in a multi vehicle crash in Bastrop County. According to court documents, he was driving on FM 535 west of Creekview Drive when he was hit by a suspected drunk driver who was also not a legal citizen. First responders flew Davis to Del Seton Hospital in Austin to try and save his life, but he died three days later in the ICU. God had other, other plans for him. Court documents say when the Texas Department of Public Safety troopers arrived at the scene, 35 year old Jorge Peralta ran away and resisted arrest. Investigators identified him as the suspected drunk driver involved in the crash, and he later confessed to having five beers before getting behind the wheel. Peralta is currently being held at the Bastrop County Jail as an ICE detainee. He's also facing charges of evading arrest, resisting arrest, and intoxication manslaughter. I'm begging that. Someone watching understands that this cannot continue. The Davis family is calling on lawmakers to tighten border policies in light of Grayson's death. State Representative Stan Gerties says there are currently eight undocumented migrants in the Bastrop County Jail. Three of those eight are in there for intoxication manslaughter charges. The National Institute of Justice says undocumented immigrants are arrested at less than half the rate of native born U.S. citizens for violent crimes. So far this year, U.S. Customs and Border Protection have reported 29 homicide and manslaughter convictions involving people who are undocumented. Ashley says nothing will bring Grayson back, but it's not too late to protect others. This is all about making change. So it doesn't happen again because it's not fair to the family and it's not fair to Grayson.